everybody want to wisdom here again just going back through save file one picking up what we somehow missed the first time uh, keep in mind it was all a blind playthrough uh, we are now in chapter nine stone town this is one where we fight the eternal earth source if you recall uh, stone golem as they're calling it here uh, as you can see we missed a soul gem and a legendary treasure I've already found the uh, legendary treasure here I'm gonna kinda walk you through what to do uh, essentially the second area of the game you get right here it's a you know life source you know as the element but uh, you just pick this bomb up again with stealth L for zap you know it's all pretty easy uh, you just move back this way uh, this is actually a bombable wall uh, you throw the bomb you break it open you head up this way there's a couple of pots some cash you can pick up uh, there's a stone wall here you can break it does not require a bomb and then you proceed this way and uh, here is the legendary treasure so we'll go ahead and uh, check it out and if you notice the uh, mono lisa you know mono being the prefix for one so <laughs> uh, keep in mind you are around a couple cyclops here so uh, again this is uh, chapter nine stone town that was good for 450 pieces of gold and you know then you just drop down here and uh, I will say stealth elf upgrades very nicely as you can tell how quick we took out that guy but uh, you know like I said I'm just gonna piece all these together I'll record again as soon as I find the uh, soul gem that we missed in this one so I will be back shortly Hey everybody want to wheeze them. We're still here in uh, Chapter 9, Stone Town. As you can see, we picked up the legendary treasure close to the start that we missed. We also missed a soul gem our uh, first time playing through. And the second save file, I got it no problem. I think I remember what happened now that I know where it's at. Uh, we're right here, kind of where you see that bomb. You have to move the blocks. I, I'm not sure if Terrafin will be quick enough. I think he will be, but... You can see in there, I believe it's actually Bash's Soul Gem. Uh, I'm half tempted to pull uh, Bash, stick him on, and see what we can do. But anyway, you just basically you move this first series of blocks. I think what I did last time is I went ahead on up there and you know must have just forgot or couldn't get back or something. But uh, what we want to do is grab this bomb. Uh, I figured if we burrowed, we'd for sure make it. So. Yeah, I mean, that was a total cakewalk if you burrow, with, you know, so, I mean, anything, you know, Zap, Stealth Elf, uh, the quicker character should make it no problem. Uh, I think we got here with five seconds left, so even some of the slowers probably could, but uh, here's what we missed, the last thing in Chapter 9, Stone Town, it's Bash's Soul Gym. It's the Triceratops Honor Guard for Bash. Will be what a soul gym is. We'll go ahead and uh, preview him as well. Okay, so uh, that's that. Now you kind of know where uh, Bash the Soul Gym is. Uh, interestingly, both the legendary treasure and the soul gem were hidden behind bombable walls. So, uh, anyway, that wraps up everything that we missed in Chapter Nine, Stone Town. Uh, I'll continue playing through, completing the levels, uh, leveling up Skylanders. I think I may stop here with Chapter Nine, or maybe Chapter Ten if I missed anything there, and uh, try to keep it maybe you know ten parts per video of what we missed or something but uh, anyway you know I'll quit rambling and I'll go find what I missed and uh, record that soon so anyway uh, hopefully that helps you out and I will be back shortly hey everybody want to wheeze them we we're here in chapter 10 treetop terrace uh, you can see here in our objectives what we missed is the legendary treasure I'm going to show you where that's at when you come off this uh, platform with a teleporter I think there was a treasure chest over there where the rainbow egg went uh, when you come down here you know you got a couple drow I think there was a life spell punk when you clear them 
You can either head down this way, you know, that's where you run into the uh, rolling barrels. But uh, there's a couple of uh, things back over here. If you break them, you reveal this bounce pad that takes you up here. And as you proceed this direction, uh, you can actually will find the legendary treasure. I don't know how I missed that last time. It's the uh, Sterling Taper. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It looks like a jackalope to me. You know, uh, it's plus 500 gold. Uh, here's your vantage point. You can kind of see the magic elemental gate from this direction. But uh, I'll see where this teleporter goes. It probably just takes us down. Yeah, I don't know why you could just drop off of that. But I guess if you know, you're having issues or something. But uh, anyway, uh, that's it. It's right here. You know, like I said, the bridge with the barrels that have spikes that roll down is up ahead in the life zone. This is at the tail end of the air elemental zone, and you just take that bounce pad up. So uh, that's everything we missed in chapter 10. I will head off, finish this chapter, and then uh, find the next one that we missed something in. So I will be back shortly. Hey everybody, one of Wisdom, we are here, Chapter 11, The Falling Forest, that of course is one where the uh, chaos has ordered the trolls to cut down the trees. Uh, you probably remember the storyline. If you know, in this one we got everything except the legendary treasure, which you figure would be difficult in this level, that was not the case. Uh, I really don't know what went down the first time, I can't remember it, but I do remember when I edited the video, you know, synced the commentary up and everything, I saw the legendary treasure from the distance and thought to myself, gee, that's right at the start, how did I miss it? And uh, what I will do now, uh, we'll come back, this is literally, you know, Arbo just had the uh, cutscene with the level, and uh, you come in, you can drop down right here, uh, we'll see if those grease monkeys come up here. They may not. So since they're not going to come, I'll just show you well now they come. Uh, just their cakewalk now, <laughs> you know. But you drop down here, and uh, you got a few things you can break, pick up some cash. You come this direction, you bust the cart, pick the treasure, take down the fence, and you got a few more things to break. And of course, right here is your legendary treasure. So. It's the uh, Topiaries Nucleus, and it was worth 550 gold. So it literally is right here at the start of the level. Uh, you know, like I said, I at least saw it when I recorded it. You know, I mean, played back. So, I mean, you literally you drop off from the beginning, head down here, and just proceed on, and you have the legendary treasure in Chapter 11, The Falling Forest. So, uh... Now, for what it's worth, I've got to make my way through the level, so it will save our progress here. But, uh, like I said, I'll keep recording these until I've kind of recapped everything that we missed in the uh, first time blind playthrough. So, uh, I will can it here. Again, this one is very simple. I don't think anyone will have any trouble with it. So, uh, I'll go wrap the level up and then uh, come back as soon as I find something else that we missed. Hey everybody, wanna wheeze him here? We are in uh, chapter 12, I think. Let's uh, make sure. Troll Warehouse. Pretty sure it's 12. Yeah, because I think 11 was uh, Falling Forest. Yes, yeah, so chapter 12, Troll Warehouse. Our objectives here, you can see we're missing the one hat. I'm sure you recall this. There's actually no way to do a treasure chest, a legendary, and the hat in one go around. Uh, let me see if I can walk you through this uh, just based on my memory. You come in here, of course, and uh, the first thing you do is you pick up the key, you know, and you come in this way. And I believe then you can get, I think, a key there and a key there. And then as you proceed this direction, you don't open any doors on the right. You come here to the left. And then... We actually come and open this door. Uh, this was the lock puzzle. I think there's two keys in here. Once you grab those two, you come out this direction. And you come to this lock door, and there's two keys in it. Uh, don't open this back door. Uh, when you have those two keys, you have a total of four. And you can proceed over here. I think this is door number one. 
and then uh, somehow when I did it you know it had a key right here and right here and when I flipped my wrist forward to open this door to open this door uh, this one would take you to the legendary treasure I believe which I think was the spy glasses or something uh, but anyway when you come over here then you'll have enough keys as you can see you've got two doors here that's why we always wound up one short but uh, here's what we're after and it is the spy gear so uh, plus five critical hit and plus two speed so uh, we won't wear it even though it's kind of pertinent for what we're doing here but anyway that completes the objectives for chapter 12 troll warehouse uh, again bear in mind this is a level that you'll actually have to play twice in order to pick everything up there's like I said the legendary treasure on that first peak and then there is the uh, hat we just got and a treasure chest in there somewhere so you know this is life element gate is just uh, you see right there you know where Snuckles is at that's the minefield so right when you come in this is a life elemental gate we were of course in there just didn't get it all the first time so that kind of shows you what to do uh, I will go ahead and keep on pacing through the game picking up what we missed in our blind playthrough and uh, I should be back shortly I think maybe on a uh, t-bone level or something so uh, I'll go ahead and wrap this level up and come back for that hey everybody wanna wheeze him here we're in uh, chapter 16 the cadaver's crypt uh, in our objectives you can see what we're missing was the hat and uh, you can also see that I just the green indicates it just happened so that's in all areas found and uh, I'm right here I'll see if I can go back into it for you the hat is uh, going to be the bonehead plus three speed plus seven elemental power and uh, not gonna wear it as you can see I've actually got the do-rag on uh, tariff and for people to say I don't ever wear hats but uh, that gummit. Uh, let's see here. Of the undead element are stronger in this zone. Basically, what happens, you're closed in right here, you know, all of the uh, bones and arrows pop out. You know, it seems like from every casket there's a few spiders. When you clear them, this gate drops down. Your natural inclination is to go up those stairs. There's a wall that's uh, very dark here. You can actually break through that, come down these stairs and uh, you can take this earth element bridge which of the earth are uh, sadly I can't go back in there I was thinking that what I had missed was something else I remembered this I guess from the second save file but essentially you just come in here and it says to uh, you know basically escape the maze and so you basically go through there's a couple of rhubarbs and some you know earth spell punks and you just clear the area of them and uh, when you do that you get the bone hat that we just found so now on the objective screen you can see that we missed that area and we missed a hat so now they're both checked off uh, somehow I didn't kill all the enemies either in this one so I'll be working towards that but uh, my apologies on not getting to show that one to you there's no time limit if you recall this level also has a tech element gate then it's got I believe minute and a half or something to collect the ten enchanted skulls or crystal skulls and uh, this one there's no time limit at all you just basically meander through until you find the teleporter that sends you out to that hat so uh, like I said I don't think you're missing a whole lot not seeing that and you know again my apologies I was thinking what I missed was later in the level uh, not actually right there but anyway I will come through here try to finish off killing the enemies and then we just lack I believe Lava Lakes Railway I think I missed a treasure chest there so uh, I'll quit rambling I'll uh, try to get all the enemies killed and we will check back and see if we can't wrap everything up Well, everybody want to wheeze them here. We're in Chapter 19, Lava Lakes Railway. As you can see, we need a couple of something for the objectives. Uh, I believe this is one where we battle chaos, and uh, we're missing the legendary treasure. So what we need to do is uh, 
backtrack out of here. It's in this area right when uh, Diggs stops here at this kind of different looking gate. Uh, you'll note you've got the bombable uh, rocks there. That's, well, that's not cool. <laughs> uh, but that's where we need to go. And uh, I'm trying to remember. I know I've done this with a... Uh, and there's Chop Chop at level 10. Kind of bonus footage for you. I know I've done this with, uh, you know, in the second save file, so I'm trying to think exactly how to go about it. But I'll go ahead, you know, meander around like I usually do. I'm bad about having to collect everything I can, you know. Uh, but, you know, at least Chop Chop's level 10. I've gotten several up to level 10 just here lately uh, doing this stuff, so. Oh, I did not see the rock walkers. I think there's uh, a couple of them up here, actually. I'm going to try to hit this stuff. Uh, what you want to do, of course, is avoid hitting that switch and then getting too close to digs or he'll kind of like auto bring you down into the crystal grotto so okay this I believe is where we need to be uh, you've got to bomb that one and then this is of course where we've already been I think if you keep going up here there ought to be okay a lever yeah right there so uh, I do not know if chop chop is quick enough and of course, you want to make sure. I don't know how we just ran into those, but don't hit that switch until you've done this. I think that could be what happened to me the first time. Uh, okay, looks like these guys have appeared. I think that'll take care of all those uh, people for us. So what we need to do now is get the bomb and then uh, find the quickest way in there I'm trying to actually remember. Uh, I think what I'll do is pull Chop Chop and uh, I'll go with one of my favorite speedsters here, Zap. I could probably do it with a couple of different characters but uh, I think Zap will, you know, at least if nothing else, kind of show us what we need to try and do. So. Yeah, he did it with, well, there wasn't a ton of time left, but uh, you can kind of see the glisten up there. I'll go ahead and let him get all this stuff through. But I think that's what happened to me last in the first playthrough, the blind playthrough. Uh, you know, it has a weapon master glitch. I think what happened is I flipped that switch, and then when I was trying to do this, uh, I was too close to digs. It pulled us into the crystal grottos. And uh, that, of course, does not let you backtrack. But nonetheless, this is what you need to do to get uh, Chapter 19's Legendary Treasure. This is the uh, Fjord's Jetty. And it's plus 950 gold, so... Uh, that right there comes in. It completes our uh, collection goal for Chapter 19, Lava Lakes Railway. And then, of course, I'll see if this time around I can't get through that uh, boss battle with Chaos. This is for the fire element source, I believe. Uh, I'll see if we can't do that without actually losing a life this time. But uh, This is actually the last one. Uh, the first time, the blind playthrough, of course, that's where I got hit with a Weapon Master glitch. But uh, this is that actual save file. This is everything that I missed. This is the last one. Uh, everything else is complete, you know, or then on the second save file, uh, past the uh, Quicksilver Vault, which we got everything. So, uh, this will be the end of part 74 or 75, depending on if they'll all fit into one video. So, uh, again, it's not ideal, but, you know, I wanted to cover it, and it gave me a chance, like you just saw with Chop Chop, to level a few of them up along the way. So, uh, questions, comments, feel free to ask here on YouTube or the blog, one of wisdom.blogspot.com. Com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, whichever you prefer. And as always, thanks for watching.